Gerardo Escalante, and I am a, I'm a grounds guy. I'm a country boy, and I'm from the desert. So, being from northern eastern Oregon, where there's, I mean, there's not really like uh, a lot of things to do, but when I came here to the University of Oregon, man, oh man, there's so much things to do. Like, it's kind of like the, the glass of water I needed when I was out in the desert. Just, just nice. I went to school here and I got my degree, my bachelor's degree here, uh, metal smithing and jewelry. And then um, I uh, went back home for a diesel technology program. And then I took off to Walla Walla, Washington to do an electrical program. And I had to live out of my car for, uh, for a year or so. Um, and that experience itself was, wasn't all too bad because I mean, you know, it's kind of like camping out, but just in your car. <laughs> all that experience in you know schooling that I went to um, helps you know the stuff I, I do out here because I mean, working with jewelry, you, detail is it's key. I mean, I can make it or break it. So um, so when it comes to like doing this artwork out here, or whatever, or doing a landscaping work, or being the grass guy here, and all that, um, it's like that's nothing compared to something small. If you, if you can make something so small and so delicate look beautiful, something big like this is like, it can is, I wouldn't say it's a piece of cake, but it's, <laughs> it's not difficult. <laughs> In the spring, I received an award uh, from student athletes. It was uh, the Above and Beyond Award. Uh, it's, it's a plaque, it's uh, it means somebody's watching. <laughs> My purpose here is actually to make sure that whatever they, the players and coaches want, happens. I didn't think that, that being a grounds guy, you, you would actually talk a lot, talk to the coaches and uh, players a lot, but you do. Uh, for lacrosse, I did, um, I did a ribbon uh, for brain cancer. Uh, it was just, it just, first it started off with a little squiggly line on, on my desk, and then um, uh, from my uh, supervisor, Steve DiNatale, I laughed at his little drawing, and I was just like, "Hi, right, buddy, that's kind of embarrassing." So, um, we, so I, I took control of it, and it uh, turned out to be pretty, pretty enjoyable, to, I guess, to see, you know. Um, and then also, uh, the cross girls, they, uh, uh, the seniors, I did numbers for them. And, uh, once again, um, my supervisor, he, he has his little uh, uh, outline of numbers and stuff like that, and they look. <laughs> <laughs> they look skinny looking. They look like little, look like noodles, <laughs> you know, <laughs> linguine or something. It was hilarious. But uh, uh, <laughs> and he was gonna do that. And I was just like, no, Stephen, that's embarrassing. I like to do art that actually moves people. That actually uh, um, leaves a, an impression on their life. Like if I'm gonna do something, like it's just my thing. Nobody else is gonna get their hands on it or whatever. I'll do. I'll make it look like it should in my mind. You know, I, I'm always the guy that you, you, you make fun of. <laughs> so when the coaches and the students, you know, gave me something like that, I was just like, wow. It's like it almost gave me kind of like, you know, anybody that does make fun of me or thinks my life's a joke, you know. It's like, or thinks lower of me because I'm a grounds guy. I'm like, well, you know what? Um, it's great, but you didn't get no award, you know. I just want to say thanks to my supervisor, Steve DiNatale, my boy, Ryan Stock, my boss, and Trell. You remember these. <laughs> Peace.